concrete borders and even tougher rhetoric. Time and time again where people try and game the system, uh, we do catch you, we do fine you, we do send you back into New South Wales. My message to anyone trying to enter Victoria from New South Wales is don't. You won't get in. The hard borders returned to try to curb the spread of COVID interstate. But spread it has. Victoria has recorded its first case linked to the cluster. A teenage girl has tested positive in Melbourne after visiting Northern Beaches venues and driving south last week. Given the family was isolating at home, at this point there are no known exposure sites in Victoria. Victoria says it's justification for its border stance. The first known seeding of a case from the northern beaches into Melbourne vindicates uh, the risk. Perhaps too low a bar for Gladys Berejiklian, who's still calling for Christmas compassion on the border front. There's also an element of holding your nerve. If you have confidence in your processes, you have confidence in the strategy, um, you do also take that into account. In Albury, Wodonga, it's a return to familiar delays. My commitment at the moment is actually looking for efficiencies to get it right up there to enable the freight flow through, to enable border communities to get through. Sydney siders outside of the northern beaches are now changing their holiday plans to stay local. We've unfortunately seen a few cancellations with people who have had to change their plans. Um, but the good thing is we still see it coming in for the next few days uh, in front of us. So we're, we're still seeing good times ahead. Good for some, but border closures mean hundreds will ring in 2021 in hotel quarantine. Tim Swanston, ABC News, Sydney.